How's it going, people? <laughs> Fucking fantastic. As a matter of fact, I I feel like doing a little celebrating, and I have been already. A little uh, Cook's Brute. And um, since I can't get the cork back on, I guess i got to kill this soldier. I'm celebrating because I have bought a new house. This is not it, of course. This is my mom's guest room. And uh, she's been um, showing her hospitality. She's even shared her latest Scientology mail. Because for some reason, mom is on Scientology's uh, mailing list as well. None of us know why. She's never talked to these people or shown any interest. And she has all kinds of great stuff laying around here. Um, the shocking news. Nothing new, though. Um, the Great Controversy by Ellen White. And they got, they made her pay 65 bucks for this shit. I could have got a copy in the thrift store for like five cents. And by the way, <laughs> Ellen White, really? Jesus. So, I've got good news, and i got bad news for you. Have you heard? <laughs> okay, let's have the worst first. Let's take some... Let's do the bad news. All right, have you heard the bad news? I'm sure I have. <sighs> I keep hearing the same shit over and over again. That's why I'm... Just one page. Okay. <clears throat> the Bible teaches that God is the all-powerful creator who is holy, just, and sovereign. Because he is holy, he hates sin. Even though he created the shit. Um, because he is sovereign... He does what he wants. <clears throat> when he wants. Just like I wanted to do that. Now, wherever he wants. He just doesn't want to do anything right now. That's why we don't see any signs of him. Or hear anything from him. Except for what his religious-hearted, earth-based representatives want to tell us he's thinking and saying. Sorry, I'm a bit tipsy. Um, had wine with dinner as well. Celebrating. Ah, um, he is answerable to no one. He will be judged. Wait. We will all be judged one day by this holy, just, and sovereign God who answers to no one. <sighs> to make matters worse, the Bible teaches that all of us are messed up. We are guilty of sinful thoughts. I'd like to talk about that, actually, but let's, let's move on. All right. Uh, attitudes and actions. Not convinced? Have you ever stolen anything? Is this Ray Comfort? God damn it. Uh, sorry. Um, told a lie? Had sex with someone you weren't married to? And enjoyed it? Uh, not that I'm saying. Um... Looked with lust. Now, I really want to talk about that one, but not now. Not yet. All right. Um, or loved anyone or anything more than God. If so, you stand condemned before a holy God. Furthermore, you are unable to free yourself from sin's penalty <coughs> or power 
by your own efforts. So don't even try. You're fucked. No wonder Richard Ramirez went off on a Night Stalker rampage. You know, he wasn't good enough. May as well go do evil shit. You know, guilty of thought crimes, so fuck it. <laughs> Is there any hope then? That brings us to the good news. See, they were counting on us to read the fat, bad news first. Uh, the Bible teaches that God loved this sinful world that he made that way so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be its savior and human sacrifice. Jesus Christ is both fully God and fully man. He's like a PBJ, you know? He's fully peanut butter, yet fully jelly. Not half of one and the other. Ah, he's... How can you be half something and half something else and yet be fully that and fully the other thing? Magic. I, excuse me. I stand corrected. Great controversy makes a good coaster. Sixty-five dollars. All right. Um, since man sinned, Jesus had to become a man so that he could truly represent us and pay the penalty for our sins. That makes sense. Not at all. Um, but since Jesus is also God, his death has infinite value and could pay the penalty for the sins of the entire world. But you got to be Christian. So not the entire world, just the Christian part of it. All right. <sighs> the Bible teaches that when Jesus died on the cross, he was bearing God's wrath due to us for our sins. He was a scapegoat. Uh, yeah, the Pascal lamb. Uh, all right. Uh, but how do we know that God the Father accepted Jesus' death for our sins? We know because three days later, according to some um, contradictory accounts, <laughs> God the Father raised him from the dead and exalted him to the highest place in the universe. Up there. Unless you're in uh, you know, like down under, then it's, it's in outer space somewhere. There is no up or down in outer space. That's why I'm saying that. But everybody's like, hang on. Celebrating the good news. That I got a house. Uh, before the property values have shot back up. And they are going to be doing that. <laughs> I got a deal, too. I'll be doing some videos of my house renovation on the other channel. I'll let you guys know about that. Okay. Now that he is alive from the dead, he is able to impart his life to us. Just drink his blood and be a cannibal, symbolically. Yeah, that's all. Um, the kind of life which gives us the power to live the way he wants us to. He offers both forgiveness of sins and the power to overcome sin as a free gift to all who receive him as Savior and Lord. However, the Bible teaches that to receive this gift, we must turn from our sin and trust in Christ alone. If you truly understand the bad news, the only reasonable response is to yield 
your life to Jesus Christ and receive forgiveness <coughs> and newness of life from him. The bridge. And once again, they're trying to sell you a bridge. <laughs> what is up with this bridge shit? Scientology. They want to sell you a bridge, too. I'll be reading that shit later. Um, anyway, I will um, put this uh, information wherever they're putting it these days. And now I want to talk about these thought crimes. Because I do believe there's a big difference between thoughts and actions. Like Plato once said, you know. You know, bad people do what good people think about but don't do. Usually. But this bit about looking at women with lust. Let me talk about that. This is a favorite subject of mine. It's true. I love to look at women. It's one of my favorite things to do. It, but am I really looking at them with lust? Or is it appreciation? Think about that. I like the way they look. What can I say? I, I like the way they move. I like the way they're shaped. I, you know, I, I like the fact that they're the same but different. And I, I adore that. But when I'm looking at a beautiful woman and appreciating her, her charming features, am I really lusting necessarily? I guess Ray Comfort would think I am because I might be checking out certain attributes and going, oh. but um, am I really, I mean, I mean, if I were a Muslim, you know, I'd probably have to, you know, rape her, you know, because I think she's attractive, but, <coughs> but uh, as a gentleman, and I am a gentleman, uh, as a gentleman, I like the poetry in motion. I, I just, I like to look at them. I'm not always thinking about sex. I'm not always visualizing, you know. I just like the way they look. I mean, that's like saying that, oh, I, I, I love that house. So I think I'm going to just take that house. No, that's not my house. But I like it. And I think it looks nice. I like that tree. I like that rainbow. I like I like to look at things that are beautiful because they I enjoy them. But I when I look at a beautiful woman and I look at a beautiful sunset, in a sense it's not that different. Am I lusting after a sunset? I don't think so. I appreciate it. I, I find it appealing. Um, that's like, am I, if I see a, 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 a cool car, like a, a, you know, like a tricked out Corvette, and I went, whoa, look at that car. Oh, look at that paint. Am I really lusting after that car? Am I coveting it? Am I saying, oh, I'm going to steal that car? Or am I saying, Wow, that's a nice car. I'm enjoying looking at it because I like the way it looks. I like its lines. I like the paint. I like everything about it, or I like a lot of things about it. I, I don't think that looking at a beautiful woman and having a porno happening in my head are the same thing all the time. Because I don't always imagine sex with that woman when I'm appreciating the fact that she's a different sex than I am. I just, I know Ray Comfort doesn't understand that, you know, because he's, he's very simplistic, but it's a little more complicated than that, folks. You know, um, there's a lot of things I like. I love to look at lots of beautiful things, you know. I, I mean, I love animals. I, I, I love critters. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very fond of horses, and I think they're beautiful. 
and I like to look at them. I think they're graceful and elegant. Doesn't mean I want to fuck one. Sometimes I like to look at something or someone who's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's all. So do I look at a person with appreciation? I mean, I don't really spend a lot of time lusting exactly. I just like what I'm seeing sometimes. And I can't help but look. I can't help it. It's the way I'm wired. You know, I mean, this is some pretty twisted shit, you know. I mean, I, I have a friend who's uh, extremely conservative and Christian. And he can watch a movie that has people being chopped up with chainsaws. Just don't show a naked woman in it. Because he might get a woody. He might desire that woman. And then he's cheating on his wife and he's and he just raped her with his mind. It got so bad with this guy, he actually got involved with the promise keepers and almost ruined his marriage over it. Because he had to come home, turn off the TV set, say, everybody come in here, I'm going to purge myself and confess all my shame. I like to look at women. Ah, There's nothing wrong with it. And there's everything right with it. Just don't be a creep about it, that's all. I, anyway, that's all I got to say. This look at women with less shit. I, I love to look at women, but I don't have time to have sex with them all, even if I could, and I don't think I want to. I, I've had women that are friends of mine, and I find them attractive and appealing. And the thought of having sex with them is the furthest thing from my mind because I like them as friends. So I'm just sick of all this, this lust talk because I think it's a bunch of bullshit. And I'm not going to give up looking at women. Sorry. doesn't mean that I'm having a porno in my head. Anyway, I'm rattling on and on, but this really, this shit ticks me off. That's all. I'm a little drunk. Sorry. Anyway, I will keep you posted on all further updates. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And if you um, if you want to look at beauty, don't feel ashamed for it. Just don't be a creep, that's all. Bye.